Yesterday, we sold the monitor for 30 pound cash. So we're gonna go and drop that off to the charity shop now. And obviously, see if we can't fill up our basket while we're there. See you in a bit. Hello, mate, you all right? Samuel. Hello, darling. Sold it. Did you? Yeah, it, the person who took it is gonna try and fix it and fix the screen. So you put that into your donation portal, or whatever, Christmas fund or whatever you do. It's, it's rubbish, wasn't it? Oh, I don't know. My point is it was in the bin. It, so put it in your Christmas fund. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to you? There's always someone, I couldn't have that big box in my, in my shed, in my garage. The geezer that was gonna buy it said he was gonna put well, a new I screen for it. I'd rather put it in my bin, I don't know. Oh, lucky for them, you got 30 quid out of it. Yeah, lovely, thanks darling. Who's the one here for me hiding today? No. It's all coming out today, isn't it? Where's Mr. Samuel? I just said to Sam, there were no bargains left. You've been in and pinched them all. Oh, animal. Was that monitor any good? No, it's broke. I've just I gave some money to... Pat. Pat. What, you're going to use it for bits? No, somebody else has bought it. It's broken. It's got a big purple line down the front and snow on the screen. Yeah. And I, so I, I can't use that. But somebody's bought it? Yeah, they'll put a new screen on it, I'm sure. That's up to them, isn't it? Okay, the hospice has got the money, well done. Exactly that, exactly that. I'm not gonna waste anybody's time in that charity shop session today. I already cleaned it out yesterday. We picked up one thing and I only bought these for the sake of buying something. We've got some Tommy Hilfiger over the knee ladies Angora socks. Paid five, oh, I'll pull it off. Paid five pound for them just so I could buy something. But if I get seven back on Vinted, I'll be happy days when I come on. I'll see you in a bit. The rain has started to come down, it is spitting, but I have just been into the loft to grab out my fables. I need to try and find a ground sheet. I'm gonna do a car boot sale tomorrow, or at least try, 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 try. This is the Amazon bag that I've been filling up for the last, I don't know, three or four months. Just loads of stuff in there, Furbies, just stuff. Well, you'll see it all in the next video, I'm sure. And I'm just gonna fill, put that in the car and then fill the space with anything else. Tomorrow, it's all going dirt cheap. Well, I need to make some money. Car is loaded and you won't understand how much of a difference it makes having that space there. Because that chair is going to go. And that's obviously my daughter's chair. And I've cleared loads of bits there. I just want that gone. Then I can start refreshing, ready for the new year. Hopefully we can set it all out tomorrow. <laughs> or at least most of it. The car is absolutely rammed and I need to go to the gym. So we'll get a good tester to see if this is going to rattle around or not. I don't know, do we? I'm going to have a giveaway coming up soon where you can win a month free training with Ayrton himself, the Blonde Viking. Keep a lookout for that in the upcoming videos. Right, let's go lift some weight. I'll tell you, it's a bit rattly. I just started waffling here about what I'm doing and where I'm going with my fitness side of things. And obviously there is music playing in the background, so I can't be playing it on YouTube. See in a bit. There we go. In and out of about 40 minutes, I think. Something like that. 30 minutes. If you don't mess around in there, you can just get stuff done, especially when the gym's empty. On Saturday, there's nobody in there. One lad was in there, fair play to him. Nobody comes in at the weekends, it's great. You know, it's a trend. Friday evenings, when everyone's getting ready for the pub, and Saturdays and Sundays, no one's here. I love it. Right, oh, I forgot I filled this up. We're going to go home now, show you some sales that I've had, get those marked and dispatched and get ready for the car boot sale tomorrow. Hopefully this weather holds up. It's been spitting earlier, but we got high hopes, baby. Well, I'll tell you what, we've started on the phone today. We might as well finish up on the phone. So we'll just stick with recording on that and pick some orders. Right, we'll start off over on eBay. Now, this one is a bit of a strange sale because I listed this a little while ago while I was going through a lot of clearing and moving stuff on. Now, I probably would have listed it individually. But I had what I called a box of curiosity items. Tobacco, pipe tools, ruler, button hooks and compass and cigarettes. It's got things like cigarette tins, little rulers, pipe cleaners and tamping kits. So this little kit here, you open it up, you clean the pipe, tamp it down. Oh, is that that one? Maybe another one. Vintage pen pencil. Just a little oddity box. Sold it for $8.99 free postage. I would have definitely listed that individually now. I was in a different mindset back then. It's an old, old, old listing that is. Old listing. But we don't mind that. It's gone. Next up is this Formula One cap. Vintage Bridgestone. Really nice. It actually comes with a note. It says, Hi Ricky, thank you for your kind offer. I am more than happy to accept. It is just what I need as I'm going to some late winter sun next month. Also, I'm a recent subscriber to your YouTube channel, but I've been watching for years. You make my wife, Yvonne, and myself's day as we both retired last year and we always search for your new videos. Cheers, Nigel and Yvonne. 
I appreciate you both guys. £8.99 that sold for over on eBay. And that brings me to an important point. A lot of people are watching these videos and they're not subscribing. Now, subscribing isn't a massive necessity of the channel, but what it does do is it helps the channel grow, helps me be able to do more and more things because the more subscribers you have, YouTube says, oh, this channel must be doing all right. And it helps push the videos to a wider audience so we can bring more people into the family and into the team. So if you are somebody that watches the channel and you don't subscribe, please do consider doing that now because it's going to help us out massively. So I appreciate it if you do. And for £59 and 49 pence, some of you will remember this, this is so heavy. This is the KitchenAid Artisan. I paid £10 from the charity shop. Had it listed on Marketplace for ages. I was getting so many little low balls, I couldn't be bothered with them. So I just took it off there, put it on eBay. It lasted about a week. £59.99 that is. KitchenAid is a fantastic brand of kitchenware to be looking out for. They do a plethora of stuff, so get your eye out for that. Right, moving over to Vinted now. Vinted will be nice and easy. So first of all, the better half of Steve and Melly has picked up the MG keyring, specifically because it's actually Melly's initials, M and then, I'm not going to give you a surname away, but this is actually obviously an MG London, and she's picked this one up for £8.88, so Melly, I massively appreciate you. Steve, I'll find the other hat as soon as I can. Thank you. £6 for some Levi's 501s. Now these have been turned up at the bottom, which is why I've sold them quite cheap to be fair but six pound i don't pay much for levi's at all i don't pay like five quid a pair unless they're really really decent these are just standard 501 ones six quid it would have cost me probably 50p something like that the two playstation controllers that i picked up yesterday i listed them on vinted and got them sold quickly for a nice 15 pound profit i paid 10 pound each well i say 15 pound and i sold them for 33 pounds and 20 pence so i made 13 pound 20 in less than an hour yes i could have traveled nine miles to my local cex nine miles back and got 20 pound trading i think it is or 30 pound voucher something like that but i'll need to plan prepare and make that trip viable with some other stuff that i just don't have at the moment i'm happy with that i paid 20 within an hour or two hours i'd listed them and made 13 pound profit so these have actually sold to king t-rex hello oh my goodness One second. As I was saying, these have actually sold to Jamie, aka King T Rex, over on Vinted. So I want to give a massive shout out to you and your dad, Scott. I heard you both watch the channel, so I really appreciate you both. Bargains alert. Oh, I know that catchphrase has already been taken, isn't it? Big up, Sonny. Smile and get on with it. Always been an honest kid. That's about all I know, to be honest. And we've sold, oh, just noticed there's a big old message with that. So for £3.33, we've sold the Builder Bear that I paid 75 pence for, has sold to Laura. There's a big message here. Let me just make sure there's nothing in there. Hi, Ricky. I'm so glad to have finally found something that I can purchase off you to show my support. My partner, Dan, and I watch your videos every evening together whilst we are having dinner. You never fail to put a smile on our faces. Keep up the great work. Your work ethic and drive for success really inspires us both. I, too, myself do a little bit of reselling and find it really enjoyable. Thank you so much. Lots of love to you and your beautiful family. This little bear is perfect for our beloved indoor cat, Minnie. She needed a new teddy to cuddle up to, and this is perfect. Laura and Dan, what lovely words. I massively appreciate that. You don't understand. Those little messages give me a nice little kick and just recharge some kind of battery that I've got, which keeps me going. So I do appreciate you both. And hopefully, Minnie loves the teddy bear. Sorry I didn't reply to your message before that. I'll reply after I film this bit, actually. So be, you'll get some weird kind of matrixy thing. I appreciate you both. I've got no idea how this video has turned out. So that's all we're going to do today. Hopefully tomorrow we can get a car boot sale. Selling at least, maybe. And... Uh... I found this spider. Oh, no. When he was walking. And it was a teddy bear. Go and watch this video. Go and watch it. YouTube thinks you'll like it. Go watch it. YouTube thinks he likes it. <laughs>